Hey, it's Danny from Cotter's Calisthenics here. So I want to share with you the number one mistake that I found from my own personal experience that made it impossible for me to actually eat one meal a day. So I tried doing one meal a day around six months ago and I did it for a little while, but then I found whilst I was in the end of the fast throughout the day with one meal a day, that my energy levels just started to massively drop and I didn't have my mind function as optimally as I wanted it to and I just didn't feel that great overall. So that's why I went back to eating two meals a day because it really just was not working for me and not making me feel as good as a lot of people out there were saying across the internet and across the globe from the research that I'd looked into. And it was a bit annoying that I couldn't get it to work but I just accepted it that my body was just not ready for it. Well, that's at least what I thought at that time, but my body was ready for it. And then, yeah, I've been now doing one meal a day for over a month now, consistently easy, and I haven't been having all of those negative effects happen, and I've just been feeling absolutely amazing and thriving with eating one meal a day on a whole foods, plant-based, vegan diet. And yeah, how I actually went in the direction of doing one meal a day just over a month ago is I traveled from Chiang Mai, Thailand, where I was living at the time, to go and do a visa run in Phuket, Thailand. And when I was there, I ended up being so busy in the day that I just didn't get around to eating until later on in the day. I went to a vegan buffet. I just ate so much food. And then the next day, I just felt a desire to eat one meal because my energy levels were just consistent throughout the day. My mind was working optimally. I wasn't hungry at all. So yeah, I ended up fasting around 23 hours until the following day and then eating one meal again. And the reason I discovered very, very quickly as to why it was working for me very, very easy this time around was because I was absolutely stuffing myself with an abundance of calories. So that's why I was failing in the past because I wasn't eating nowhere near enough calories for me to able to be fasting around 22 to 24 hours every single day until the next day and just eat one meal a day. So yeah, it was a very, very simple fix for me to be able to actually sustain my one meal a day journey long term and it's amazing that it just happened naturally and that it's just working for me so well still up until this point and it's just strange to me now when people say that they're eating breakfast or lunch it doesn't make sense to me whatsoever and especially I know the effect it has on your body eating multiple meals a day it actually lowers testosterone levels it reduces human growth hormone production it stops an effect called autophagy it increases your insulin levels and it just stops a whole host of other amazing benefits Benefits that you get from fasting for longer periods of time throughout the day and restricting your eating window to such a short period of time. And a lot of people ask me, how long do I actually eat for? And it variates depending on if I'm filming what I eat in a day, if I'm around people. So it goes anywhere from an hour to three hours. I prefer to eat within a one to two hour period, but it doesn't always work out that way. So this is why I've mentioned in other videos time and time again, that I do not recommend calorie restriction whatsoever when eating one meal a day. And people that I've coached and helped around the world that eat one meal a day, the people that get the highest success rates and do it the longest period of time are the ones that are eating an abundance of calories. And yeah, there are some people out there that can eat around 1,500 calories or less on their one meal a day journey, but I find the majority of people that can do this are people that have a lot higher body fat percentage. And I have a very, very low body fat percentage. So yeah, I don't have loads of fat to burn as fuel. So what I would say, it's gonna vary from person to person on how many calories that you need. The more stressed you are, the more active you are, and many other different factors will make the difference between how many calories you need or not. And what I say is I don't eat the exact amount of calories every single day, I don't count my calories, but I know estimately how many calories I normally eat once I've eaten within a day. And yeah, there's a lot of people that also try doing one meal a day to lose weight and they're not losing weight. And it is because their calorie intake is so low. I had someone say they're eating around 1,100 calories for months on end with one meal a day and they're not losing any weight. But what your body is thinking is that you are in a starvation mode and it wants you to hold on to the excess body fat that you have. So I've seen it with many different people that once they start increasing their calorie intake, they then start to shed the excess body weight that they are wanting 
to lose. So this is something that you should just keep in mind if you're finding that you're not getting the weight loss results that you're looking to achieve and sustain long term with your one meal a day journey. And if you're someone that finds it hard to eat big, big meals with your one meal a day diet, then what I can do is put a link for a video here where I talk about how you can easily over time increase the amount of calories that you eat within one sitting. And if you'd like to see what I eat within one sitting on my whole foods, plant-based, vegan diet, what I'm gonna do is put a link for a video here and some links at the end of the video that show you what I eat in a day where I live in Koh Phang Yang, Thailand, which is an amazing tropical island where I get to live the life of my dreams as a full-time digital nomad and YouTuber. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below as always, and I get back to you as soon as possible. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up, and please share this video with anyone that you think would love to hear about any of the information that I've shared with you today in relation to making one meal a day work as easily as possible for you and other people. And if you'd like to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis, make sure you click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more informational videos from me on a regular basis for your one meal a day journey to make it work the best for you. Also, what I eat in a day videos with my one meal a day journey, calisthenics workout videos, and many other videos to help you go in the direction of achieving and sustaining the highest energy levels possible and your fitness goals and acquire the dream body that you desire as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button, otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go and get those gains. Peace.